Warriors take the home opener 50 to 7. Joe Abramson back with Rod Bearden. Rod, let's just look at one guy. Romello Brown. He only carried it five times. He averaged 34 <laughs> yards of carry. 172 yards, an 86 yard touchdown. That's the kind of day the Warriors had. Yeah, it's just you come in, you punch in for a couple hours, and then you take your break, and then you just punch out. And that's, that's what it was for the Warriors. Came in, dominated in that first half, had that first series with their first string guys in the second half, and then took the rest of the night off. It's exactly what you would want out of a game like this. A lot of scoring. Let's get right to it. It started early for these guys. Jamel Hicks, 29 yards from Donovan Zazula. 11.47 left in the game in the first quarter at this point. Right, and, and this came off of a three and off with the defense. So it, it, it very much set the precedent that, hey, we're going to stop you, and then we're going to come right back and score. Offense got on the board. How about the defense getting involved? Valorian Cunningham tips it. You usually don't think the tip drill is tipping it to yourself, but in this case it was, and it went for 19 yards in the touchdown. Nobody else around, and then you're going to get Demetrius Stinson here out of the backfield. And little shake, little shimmy, gets it to the end zone, pushes that lead to double digits. And that was a fourth down play. Yeah. Yeah, they just did whatever they wanted to on every side of the ball, offense, defense. Jamel Hicks with his second touchdown here, right over the middle, and the Warriors are romping at this point. Jamel Hicks, by the way, five catches, 104 yards. All of that was first quarter. Yeah, they, they didn't really need to throw the ball as much beginning in the second half. Stinson gets another short touchdown here. After that fumble forced by Nate White, and he recovered as well. And then there goes that guy, Romello Brown. Right, and, and again, I just marvel at this play because He's known more as a power back than a speed back. He gets into the open field, brushes off that tackle, and continues on to the end zone. He might he might beg to differ with you. And then Nate White, the former tight end, his second sack, his second forced fumble. Dalton Binkowski almost gets it into the end zone. One yard left to go. Stinson takes care of that for him. Offense just dominant in, in, in the second half. Didn't need very much of anything else, but Lake Erie is able to get on the board here. Yeah, Linderick Craig, two yard run. This was late, it makes it 47 to seven. And then the Warriors, Luke Bevilacqua, and I think this is good for his confidence. He missed a couple of extra points. He struggled a little, he's a true freshman walk-on. Nails, I mean nails, a 29 yard field goal. Right, and he was playing his first home game, so you gotta have nerves all over the place with that. But he gets that one to go, and he gets on track after a few more extra points that he converted. Take a look at those numbers. Again, a school record 655 yards of total offense, 436 of those on the ground. And then there's the turnovers and the points off. That's huge. We're going to talk more about that in a second. 27 first downs. And we mentioned this earlier. It would have been a lot more first downs, but they were scoring on 86-yard runs and things like that. You have five play drives. You can't get a lot of first downs that way. Yeah, I think the hardest part of Coach Ball winner's week is going to be trying to figure out what to nitpick about because the defense had a very good performance, scored a touchdown, got the turnover. The offense did about everything you would have wanted them to do. There's not much to say that you could have done better today. You know, it's hard to pick out one thing that makes a difference when you win 50-7, to seven, but we've got a new feature we want to talk about this year, and I think this is it for this game. The Xfinity X factor it's those turnovers and what they turned into here's the first one Valorian Cunningham tips it to himself takes it to the house then Nate White with the sack the force fumble and the fumble recovery did all three that set up a touchdown right here to Stinson and then Nate White got at it again forces the fumble Benkowski picks it up takes it down to the one Stinson again for the touchdown. Yeah, it just everything just set itself up very well for you where all you have to do is just get in the end zone, execute on offense. The defense set you up with a short field on a couple of occasions. You just take advantage of those. Wayne State just almost did everything right. I won't call it a perfect game, but it's about as close as you can get. Yeah, you're not going to have a perfect game, and I'm sure Coach Winters will always find something to work on. And That's his job. Yeah, he's got to. Absolutely, but it's got to feel good. You're coming off of a tough loss last week. Big home opener under the lights. You want to start off strong at Adams Field and to come back for two more in a row starting next week at noon against Tiffin, a game we're going to have for you right here on CM 900. Yeah, you set the precedent at home. You just want to play well in front of your home fans. They did that tonight. They're going to look to continue that and start a win streak next week, as you said, against Tiffin. All right, that'll do it from here. For my partner, Rod Beard, for Tony Ortiz and our director, Mike Johnson, I'm Joe Abramson reminding you the final score, Warriors 50, Lake Erie 7. We'll see you next week on CN 900.